Hi, I'm Caleb Giddings from Gun Nuts Media, and today we're at the range, and we're talking about shotguns. Why do I love shotguns? Because there is no other weapon in our entire self-home defense arsenal that can deliver the kind of devastating terminal performance with a single trigger pull that you can get with a 12-gauge shotgun loaded with double on buck. So now for fun, I have got a little simulation set up down here. So let's say I've got multiple attackers, and I've got this 12 gauge, in this case, a Beretta 1301 equipped with a Trijicon RMR, and I've got three bad guys, all of whom require some bullets. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot them in the order that they appear to be a threat. So we're just gonna start with closest and go over to the most distant, and we're gonna see how fast I can get this done. Now, obviously, I'm not like simulating a self-defense situation here. This is a stage that it's set up, and it's set up to test how quickly I can bring the gun onto bear on multiple targets. I've got my trusty shot timer to tell me how fast I did it, to tell me what my transitions between each target were, and we're just gonna go on the beep and see what happens. I have not shot this once yet, so I am uh, cold for drills today. So here we go. All right, that was a 215. Hits weren't great. Let's go take a look at the hits. Let's see, first shot was a 0.88, then a 0.67 split, and then a 0.66 split. So let's take a look at the hits. That's not a great hit. I wanna be high center chest with these. <clears throat> these are all good. I've got one peripheral little guy right here but then the rest of my stuff is exactly where i want it and then over here i have the wad that makes this big scary looking hole but the holes that matter is i have one two three four five six seven eight pellets all right into that a zone so that's pretty solid shooting let's do it again for funsies because shooting's fun and i got all this ammo so i might as well right Gun is still loaded. <clears throat> Let's see if I can get a better hit on that first target this time and do it slightly faster, huh? How's that sound? There you go, might actually be able to hear the beeper now through my headset. faster it was a 194 <clears throat> safety on gun down <clears throat> so we had a 194 first shot was a 0.69 then a 0.7 split then a 0.55 split and this time that guy's that guy's not surviving that <clears throat> This guy didn't survive this either. And this guy didn't survive that either. So I'm shooting really tight patterns here and these patterns are super tight at relatively long range for a shotgun. The furthest target is about 10 meters away and I'm still shooting smaller than fist size groups with this gun. That's because I'm using Federal Flight Control, which is the best buckshot in the world. It is really some of the best buckshot in the world. I love it, I love shooting it. And to show you how accurate it is, so we have this one close target, all right? It's about, eh, we'll call it five meters away. And people say that you can't use a shotgun to take a precision shot, and that's not true. So right here, I'm gonna shoot this target that's five yards away, and I'm just gonna shoot him right in the head. <clears throat> Let's have a look at this. This is my pattern, including the wad at five yards. I had the dot right in the center of the A and it blew a hole right under that. So you wanna tell me you can't use a shotgun to take a precision shot? That's the thing with shotguns. You have to know your patterns. You've gotta know where your rounds are hitting. 
you got to know your patterns at whatever distance you're going to be at so that if you do need to take a precision shot and a shotgun's all you've got, you know where to aim. I'm Caleb Giddings. Thanks for watching. If you want this awesome t-shirt, you can get it at the link down below. And I really appreciate uh, all the fans and viewers out there. See you next time, guys.